You got that right, DJ. He's trying to take that wind out of George Max's sails. You take the air out of him. I don't care how big you are. You can't breathe. You can't fight. Speaking of not being able to breathe. Uh, maybe not just because he's tired. Maybe because he just got his lungs smashed out the back of his body. Oh, sh oh. Mr. Nix is having some problems. Drop slam. One, two, three. That's it. And your winner, the star of destiny, George. Match of today's episode, uh, Zach Abiza and Mysterious Movado. These are Capital oh. Pro Wrestling fans and at the Great Lakes Wrestling Showcase, no stranger to the Mysterious one. This is our first look at uh, Mr. Abiza, though. Nice. And I think he's uh, going to take his time. How do you prepare? It up with uh, Mysterious Movado. I don't know how you prepare for him. He's yeah, a spaceman. How, how do you prepare for a spaceman? Welcome to Planet Detroit. Oh, that's right. Well, once again, welcome to the Fledge in Lansing, Michigan. I am DC Howe. With me is DJ Dangler. Hello, everyone. We are in the ring. In the ring. The Lovato's enjoying it. Man. Yeah. yeah, that's what he does. He enjoys himself. He is in full Wolverine garb, and uh, apparently, uh, Mr. Abiza, living up to his name, has a little a, dance in his pants as well. Yeah, they're having a little bit of a dance party right here at Great Lakes Pro Dance Party. <laughs> We got a little bit of the dance show going on right now, man. Mysterious Movado looks sort of teasing at text of strength and then yeah. dances his way out of there. Came here looking for Tekken and you get Parappa the Rappa. <laughs> Which is a classic test of strength. That'd be Earth strength, not space strength. But still, Mysterious Movado seems to be getting the upper hand. Oh, Biza though. Look at those strength and flexibility. That's a strong dude. It's a strong dude to power back from underneath the space, man. Any way you can get him there, get him there. Abiza implores the referee to uh, 
push the action and cut down on the shenanigans. I think, I think he might be underestimating just what a grappler Movado is capable of being. Oh, well, Movado is no doubt a ring veteran in there, and showing it right there, just stopping yeah. all those fingers. I think he took umbrage to uh, Abiza complaining, so he did it again. Kind of like the spite in the space, man. Look at the height and the arc on that body slam. He really shuts him to that mat, DC. Oh, the spaceman is just, he is powerful. He is agile. He's just fun. The man's just fun. Can't argue with that. Movado, I mean, oh, oh, oh. Thousand hands slapped by the mysterious oh. Movado. He learned how to fight like that in Japan. <laughs> Space worm! Movado has him lined up where he wants him to. Drop kick in the corner. The basement drop kick. Get all the force from the fall. Dropped right to the chest. Handstand splash. That is a Movado classic if I've ever seen one. One, two count only though. Abiza not ready to dance into the night. Movado's doing a great job of staying on top of Abiza. A little bit too much flash there. Abiza caught him. Taking advantage of Movado's equipment. Now kick to the small of the back. Now kick to the shoulder yeah. area. Looks like he's trying to pick apart Movado. Maybe set up a, a later trap submission or... Oh, right now, this is probably the smartest thing he could do right now. He's just lusting, sinking in that yeah. chin lock. The smart move by Abiza wearing down his opponent. Letting himself formulate a game plan like I alluded to. Movado, incredibly difficult to train for. Close line. Goes to the cover, one, two. Oh, so close to gaining his victory. His Capital Pro Wrestling, Great Lakes Wrestling Showcase debut. Abiza lining him up for something. Oh, two hands in the back. Abiza comes to us all the way out of Nevada. He's traveling across the country, fighting on the, all the way. Well, I'm gonna tell you that Nevada has a lot better weather than we're experiencing here at the Fledge in beautiful Lansing, Michigan right now in November. Well, let's see what the forecast has in store for Movado. Right now, it looks like punches with a chance of more punches. Five minutes, five minutes remaining. There is a time limit in this matchup. Yeah, they got that right. It's a 10 minute time limit. All the matches are, do have a time limit, are typically five or 10, uh, or three, 10 or 15 minutes. Beautiful flashing spin with a springboard elbow. Or not a springboard elbow, rather, just a, just a round off elbow. Still fantastically done. The One is quite nasty. No. One count. Let's see if he can transition that athleticism into a victory here as he has the spaceman a bit on the ropes. Forgive the, <laughs> the pun. No, that's, uh, that's appropriate. Uh, right now, the mysterious one having some problems with Mr. Abiza. Yeah, you've seen... Uh, I know I've seen Movado make a lot shorter work of real tough opponents. Oh yeah, and Abiza's hanging in there tough with the spaceman. Two count only. He's, he's pushing Movado to his limits. Movado has uh, been in there with the, the best of the best from around the Midwest, and uh, Abiza's showing that he has worthy competition. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a club kid, but it's like a club man, DC. A club man. That's accurate. Huge European uppercut sends the spaceman into the corner. Oh, uh, there's that. Looking to make some base on the spaceman's chest. Well, he, uh, Misa does enjoy base, as from what I understand. Oh, that hurt 
<laughs> that just hurt my feelings. Likes bass, huh? Trance or uh, free? <laughs> ah. There we go. Oh, there we are. Nice uppercut. Abiza roaring into the corner. Gets, took a little bit too much time. Avado caught him with an elbow. Trying to line him up for something. Get some offense back on track. Oh, face first into that boat, DJ. Avado winding himself up. The spaceman with a jumping clothesline. Second one for good measure. Getting him fired up, getting him going. Mavado hit so very hard. Ducks under. Each one of those landed. Oh. Misdirect, kicks low. Huge boot to the face, goes for the cover. One, two, no, two count only. That boot, that boot rocked to Pisa. He just got him right in the jaw. Scoops him up. No, nope. floats over. Shoves Bovado into the corner. Inzaguri. That was a mean Inzaguri. Floats around, goes with the cover. One, two, two count. I, referee says two. That was so close. Abiza is in shock. Bovado trying to figure out what he has to do to beat this man. That was a slick and dirty make for a splash out of Abiza. Abiza has him in the corner, or on the ropes rather. Movado comes out. Ooh, DDT plants in center of the ring. One, two, three. Beautiful win for the Mad Man. Here is your winner, the mysterious Movado. returns to the Fledge on December 14th. Scheduled to appear, Caleb Stills, The Amazing Nate Matson, The Purge, The Mysterious Movado, El Ridiculoso, George Mack, Big Chuck Wagon, Mr. Main Event, and many, many more. Stay tuned to our social media, AmericanLuchaLibre.com, Facebook slash CPW Lansing, Facebook slash American Lucha Libre, Lucha Americana on Twitter, and American Lucha Libre on Instagram. Next week on the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase, CJ Otis steps into the ring to do battle with Adam Witt. And in our main event, Caleb Stills puts his undefeated streak on the line against Darren O'Ryan. It's going to be must-see wrestling next week on the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. Let's take a moment to thank the sponsors of American Lucha Libre. First, The Fledge, radically inclusive, home of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. El Burrito Mexicano, authentic Mexican food and pastries in Lansing, Michigan. Jam Clothing, official producers of Capital Pro Wrestling and American Lucha Libre merchandise. The Robert Dowding Group with Keller Williams Realty, the very best in the business and Head Drop Productions, providing production services from pre to post. Thank you for sponsoring the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. 
Heck. Oh, there we are. Great Lakes fans, we still don't exactly know the lineup for this match. As Verville does not have a partner lined up. CJ Otis. Morris 
President Faville taking on the Gray Wolves in this impromptu tag match. There is no shortage of bad blood in this ring tonight, DJ. There is a sore shortage of healthy blood in the ring right now, DC. I, yeah, you're right. I wouldn't take a transfusion from any of the men involved in this matchup. The Brothers Gray stepping in uh, as a uh, awards of, I guess, uh, Mr. Jonathan Presley and CJ Otis. Yeah, the Gray Wolves serving as attack dogs for CJ Otis. Otis and Presley still at ringside, though. Wanted to see how their charges do. I haven't seen much of this Morrison. Seems to be a strong dude. No, he is a. Uh, I've had a chance to view him around the Michigan in the area, not necessarily here. But he is definitely an able and capable opponent for Jack Verville, and they are taking it right now to the Gray Wolves. I know. Jerry's having problem. Uh, double teamed by Verville and Morrison. Good cross face. He's sort of a. Yeah, I don't think he's torquing it enough to, to even be looking for the win. Just trying to hurt the guy's face. Just trying to wear him out a little. Jonathan Presley not impressed with what's going on. Uh, sort of wanting a better view. Jarvis is having some problems though. Uh, he is in the wrong corner, in the wrong place, in the wrong time, in the wrong building. But we are here at the Fledge in Round, Lan beautiful Lansing, Michigan. Tags in his partner, his in brother Jimmy. Huge hip toss by Jack Verville. So Wolf's caught now. It looks like just, just solid, solid. I can't doubt that is a heel hook or just an ankle lock, but he's got it in good. So he might be hooked, yeah. Morrison just stomping on Jimmy's face. Just impossible to defend yourself when you've got another man laying you out like that. So you eat an uninterrupted punch. Oh, you, I tell you, you decide to wear a shirt in the ring at your own peril. Yeah. That, can, that can happen. You know, for a team that was kind of thrown together, this uh, Morrison and uh, Verville, they're they're working together. They've cut the ring in half. They've isolated a man. They're they're taking it to him. Yeah, they might not be a team, but they're both real technical wrestlers. I mean, one's a, a jujitsu black belt or brown belt rather. The other a submission special specialist. You got to think they have. They have. Uh, they have techniques that can definitely fit into one another. Similar styles and pacing. You kind of go two routes when forming a good tag team. You can find someone that mirrors your energy. Oh, no one there. Morrison goes through the ropes to the outside. They're going to have to sell. The, the count is broken up. Gray Wolves. Smart. Taking advantage of the situation right now. The ref. Talking to the ref, getting in some. some Isn't that nice? He helped him back into the ring. Yeah, he does what he can. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna yell at him. <laughs> Trying to win a match, getting their best in. So those are a hungry young team. They are. They are. Newcomers here at uh, Capital Pro Wrestling at the Great Lakes Wrestling Showcase, but they are not newcomers to the squared circle. Uh, they have been up and down Michigan and the Midwest. They are quick as a whip, and they're going to have to stay out of the way of the more powerful Max Morrison, but they are doing a good job. Quick tags in and out, making sure that they... Oh. Use that full five count until there's no disqualification, but they are going to use whatever rule they can and, and bend it to the point of not breaking. Four count, very close there. Referee is admonishing them right now. They need to. I gotta tell you, this, uh, this wolf in the ring is real good. 
Jack Regrillo coming over to save his partner. Yeah, that, that referee is distracted. That wolf in the ring, real good at distracting the dog while the other wolf raids the group. They are a pack. I mean, perhaps that pack mentality will give them the edge here tonight over Vervel Morrison. Two count only. Vervel, this wasn't the match he wanted. The man he wants is there ringside, CJ Otis. You know, for uh, weeks and weeks, JP has been scouting talent ringside. I, I wonder if this is what he's, it's, it's all led to, CJ Otis. He seems to, he seems to have found something there. You're trading blows his second around of the ring. Wolves and Maxwell. He's got to think that JP's been scouting elsewhere, bringing these wolves in. Might be a might be a series of busy days for Presley. Maxwell fighting out of everything, trying to do a valiant job, but he just too many men, too much strength. Oh! Rolling neckbreaker maneuver by the wolves. One, two, God, could that be it? No, so close. Definitely would have been it were it not for the Verville breakup. These great wolves are looking real solid. Picking apart what they, I think they've identified as uh, the smaller member of the herd. Leaps over top. Oh, nothing there. Maxwell needs to get to his corner to tag in the fresh man, Verville, who's just dying to come in and inflict some punishment. Verville looking to trap in that triangle. Jack Verville into the ring. Takes out the other wolf. Turns his attention to Jimmy. Whips him into the corner. Huge one leg drop kick. Oh, oh. You gotta wonder if he's trying to set up that triangle, as you mentioned. He's always looking for it. I, I've commented on it before, but it needs to be expressed again and again. Verville has that long, lanky frame. I know he looks lean. He doesn't look big and bulky like your traditional wrestler. Jack Verville off the top. No, oh no. But Verville is so dangerous. Wolf on wolf violence right there. Thrown out of the ring. We got two on one. Jimmy. I think Morrison wants to get a little, wants to get a little payback. Jimmy Gray in trouble for those double team moves. There it is. Sunk in, nowhere to go. Got a tap. Here is your winner, the team of Jack Burville and Max Morrison. to somebody, I guess. My God.
wrestling fans, we got probably great action coming up next week here at the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. Don't forget to subscribe to Head Drop Productions on YouTube. We will see you next time.